All right, cool. So um, I've gotten a lot of comments and a lot of people just also in real life asking me how I write my songs. So I decided instead of, you know, giving them a very vague lowdown every single time they ask, um, I would just make a video about it. So I have some notes for the first part of this and for the second part of it. Um, I will not be using notes. So if I'm looking down and it seems super scripted, it's because it is because I wrote this in like freaking English class and math class. Um, so yeah, so I, 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 fi I figured, um, I figured out a few things that I, I think are rather important when writing a song. I, I know I kind of seem like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And I know that because I'm 15, people are going to think that I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but honestly, my lyrics are something that I, like, I'm actually proud of myself for. So, um, I would say that I know what I'm talking about. I don't usually say that, th that about myself. I usually don't say that I'm good at something just because I feel stupid doing that. But, um, I think lyrics are actually something that I learned how to do pretty well. So, um, I, I kind of, I determined, like, three key elements. Uh, there's style, vibe, or feeling, and structure. Um, so I'm gonna do some timestamps, um, and I'm gonna pin the comment when I post this video, um, whenever I get around to doing that. Um, so the first element is a style. So is, it, are, is the lyrical style going to be more straightforward, like, um, Attica Basement, Sorority Noise, um, Mom Jeans, what are some some other bands? Oh, Modern Baseball, The Front Bottoms. Is it going to be more like that, or is it going to be more metaphorical and kind of um, harder to deconstruct or dissect and um, interpret? Is it going to be more like that? Is it going to have a lot of symbolism? Is it going to be... Um, I had a word for this, but I, I don't remember. But um, yeah, is it going to be like that? Um, some bands that do this are 21 Pilots, um, I'm sure everyone knows 21 Pilots, um, um, there's more bands, um, Owl City, I'm sure a lot of people know Owl City as well, um, another thing is Will It Rhyme, will this be a song that is mostly based off of rhymes, um, or will it just be kind of, you know, the lyrics are just there with no rhyme, um, so yeah, you want to determine that, um, this is also, disclaimer, this is if you are a beginner songwriter and songwriting doesn't already come naturally to you. If songwriting already comes very naturally to you, I don't, I don't know why you'd be watching this video, but I, I'm not judging. Um, yeah, so if you're just starting out and you are so bad at writing songs, which I was at one point, and I still obviously have room for improvement. These are just things that I believe make a very good song and things that I have used in the past when I've been um, tuning my, uh, songwriting skills. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. It's very simple. Um, this could also be determined later on in your song. Uh, then the vibe and the feeling, which I think is one of the most important parts of the song, like, of the lyrics. Personally, that's, that's just the way I see it. I think that the vibe and the feeling is the most important part of a song in general, whether it be for the lyrics or for the sound because if it doesn't give you a certain feeling, then is it really that great of a song, you know? I mean, that's just how I see it. I'm sure not everyone sees it that way, but like I said, this is just what I find helps a lot. Um, like, will this song have more of a dark tone? Will it have more of a bright tone or, tone or will it be neutral? Um, like, will this... I don't know, let me think of an example. Will this make you feel like you're in a mosh pit or make you feel like you're floating in space? Those are two very contrasting things. Like, will it sound like Cave Town, or will it sound like, um, freaking, uh, Against Me? Will it sound like Cave Town or Against Me, you know? I'm not saying all of Against Me songs are moshing songs. I, I, yeah, anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, will this, um, yeah, so, oh my god, I feel so stupid using notes, but I know that it's helpful, at least for me, and it makes me more more, more, uh, tangible, I guess, um, since this is, you know, I can't get distracted too much, um, yeah, will this, also, will this match what you want in regards to, like, like, key and the actual sound of the song, um, will it match that, or will it not, 
the thing is, um, a song that does this really well, the lyrics don't at all match the sound of the song, is Bullet by Hollywood and Dead. But this one is hard to execute. It's I kind of call it like some sort of lyrical irony or whatever. Um, when the song is in a major key but has really dark lyrics, or it's in a minor key but has really happy lyrics, it's hard. It's way harder to put something in a minor key and give it happy lyrics than to put something in a major key and give it darker lyrics. Um, I find personally, I mean, maybe it's not like that for someone else, but <clears throat> and I find that artists that try to do that, I personally don't think that a lot of the time they don't do a great job of it. But you know, I I can't do that great of it, so who am I to judge? Um, yeah, a song that does the lyrical irony very well is Bullet by Hollywood and Dead. Um, if you've heard that song before, you, you already know, but if you haven't, I suggest you take a listen. Actually, it's, it could potentially be very triggering for some people, so, you know, that's just a warning. Um, so yeah, um, so, so that's the thing. That's the thing that you should think about. What kind of vibe do you want this to be? And again, all of these can develop later on once you have a certain idea, which I'm going to elaborate on later. Um, the last one is structure. This one is very technical. Um, will it be pop structured? Will it be structured some other way? Um, my favorite one to use is pop structure. Um, and you know, it's, and you know, honestly, pop structure is what works because that is the basis of most modern music. And I know that a lot of you emo shits watching this, I, I know because I was there at one point too, you don't want to admit that you write pop structured songs because you hate pop music. I, I already know I've been there. And, um, honestly, most of the songs you listen to, while they may not inher inherently be pop, like the pop genre, like top 40 or whatever, while they may not be like that, something you gotta know is that the structure that they use, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, chorus, and then, or like intro, verse, chorus, or whatever, a lot of bands, a lot of the emo bands that you listen to probably do that, like freaking My Chemical Romance uses that structure all of- they used to use that structure all of the time. Um, so don't let that, oh, my dog wants to come in, but I, I don't want to move away because I don't want to do too much editing with this. I don't think I want to do any jump cuts. I'm so sorry, Luda. Anyway, um, yeah, so don't feel embarrassed about writing a pop structured song. It doesn't mean you're writing a pop song. It just means that you're using the most popular structure which works. It's popular because people like listening to it. You probably listen to a lot of pop songs yourself. Um, well, pop structure. Anyway, yeah, um, this is also something that I find it's the least imp Oh my god. <laughs> I find it's the least important of all of the things that I mentioned, um, so far. I guess because you can kind of determine this once you've gotten into songwriting, into writing the song. So, um, I also have three tips on how to apply these. Consistency, build up, and having a story. Uh, consistency, unless you're looking for a very lyrically eclectic song, unless you're looking to write that, you want to keep your song, like, either you want to keep it straightforward or metaphorical, as I mentioned before. I know that my wording isn't the best, and I might sound super stupid to some people, like, I'm no professional, honestly. I think I'm I think I'm good at it. Good enough that I can offer some people advice, some beginner's advice, but I'm by no means a professional. Um, for consistency, you wanna... Honestly, um, you, you wanna be able to... What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, you wanna have consistency because it keeps the listener interested and it keeps your song kind of tangible and understandable in a way, even if your lyrics are super weird, um, like 21 Pilots. I'm not saying that, like, in a bad way. Weird lyrics are cool. Um, I, uh, unless, of course, it's, like, the bad kind of weird. D you shouldn't write songs like that. Or maybe you should, if it helps you get some of those feelings out. Um... You know, I realized I was thinking of something very specific, and nobody watching this is going to understand that. Any anyway, um, yeah, so having the consistency in the vibe and the structure and the style is going to keep the listener interested, and it's going to keep, keep people from getting bored or tired of hearing you sing or whatever, or whoever sing the song sing. Um, yeah, so that, that helps. Um, Unless, yeah, unless you would like to 
make the song eclectic you know you can try that it's i find that's good for satire like having a song like having a couple lines that are super dramatic and then one that's just like kind of floating and it's super light and it's very easy to understand i that that's good for satire i believe um there's a song called mr Glassman. i don't remember who made it but that's a song that does that well it's not exactly satire but it's kind of got that kind of vibe um like a little bit of humor i guess um build up um build up is very important well you want consistency you want to be able to kind of fade into it um because if you just have it straightforward right in the beginning of the song sometimes that can be bad not always um it also depends on the actual sound of your song which i'm not going to be talking about in this video maybe in another one if you guys want to know how i like make the entire song lyrics and tune and you know all that stuff then please request it down below i need some ideas for videos other than covers and um and, like my own original songs um so it's good it's gonna need that it's gonna need build up if you're leaving a few gaps in whatever kind of story you're telling, which I'm also going to talk about very soon, if you need, um, if you feel, if you like leave some gaps, it's going to keep people interested and, you know, have them, it's going to keep them engaged. Another thing that will keep them engaged. These are all tips on how to be effective applying those first three elements that I mentioned. Um, and the last one is story. You want to know what kind of story you're trying to tell. Is it a story with resolve? Does it not have resolve? Just like when you learn in English class, like, plot graphs and stuff like that, and the elements of a story, like, beginning, middle, end, and stuff, that was, like, elementary school, but if you're in high school, it's, like, you know, there's the introduction, there's, like, the rising point, I think that's what it's called, and there's the climax, and then the falling point, um, and there's a, there's a conflict and resolution, not always a resolution, that is entirely up to you. You want to have some sort of conflict, some sort of thing to focus on even if it's not quote unquote negative um you want to have a thing to focus on um i find if your songs are too all over the place if there's too many themes at once it's hard to keep track of just like in story writing um if you're good at writing songs or good at writing stories you'll probably be good at like both um but yeah you're gonna want to stick to something for the most part of course you can mention other things but don't 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 have too many focal points because that's just confusing if you want to if there's a lot of different things you want to write about then make it into an album and if you want them to all kind of be in the same thing make it an ep or an album and you know there's nothing wrong with that at all um one like very specific tip is make the chorus based off of the conflict or whatever is recurring in in this story that you're telling um like for example if you're writing a song about um i have no idea what to say i have so many ideas but i'll feel stupid saying them okay if you're writing a song about anxiety how typical how unique i'm writing a song about anxiety guys i'm gonna play it on my ukulele with the fairy lights in the background <laughs> anyway i'm not bashing people who do that whatever i'm just i i honestly i make fun of my own genre of music all the time i if you're offended by that then if you want you can click out um yeah so say you're writing a song about that choose something in your theme to focus on choose something that's probably you feel is the biggest part of it and then if you want to like a song more based off of like emotion and stuff like that rather than actual events like you know writing a story would be usually um you're gonna want to kind of maybe make the verses based off of feelings surrounding that or external impact or whatever and then have the chorus be the meat of it you know so that it's recurring and it'll give you a really strong chorus if you have the heaviest part of the story in the chorus since it's repeated so many times it'll just you know blow people away if you do it well um yeah so that that's a suggestion um i made a few notes um I already mentioned one of them just for just this is only for if you want to get the hang of songwriting or if you want to improve your songwriting and these are some things that you had never heard before um I also mentioned the other one earlier with the kind of irony thing um I sound like a hipster saying that I hate it um 
so oh, also another thing um you want to word things in an interesting way and um this can be but take this with a grain of salt because can be this can be done very badly like if you're it, honestly um i don't know if non-songwriters can tell but like you can kind of tell when someone is trying way too hard with their lyrics you know when it's just like it's too much of a good thing right um and i, I don't know if this is apparent to like non-songwriters or people who are not at all experienced with songwriting but personally i can tell when it sounds like someone is just being too heavy with this one thing that they're focusing on and it's just like okay we get it moving on again i don't mean to like criticize anyone specifically or tell people they're bad at songwriting because they do this i understand everyone's at different levels and i understand maybe some people like that maybe some people really like overdone lyrics and super and lyrics that are super extra with the way they put things um but i'm just saying personally this is the advice that i have for people looking to start songwriting and that brings me to the last thing that i read in my notes don't try too hard if you can just come up with an idea if you can think of something honestly personally most of my songs come from just random little thoughts that i have throughout a day that sound kind of cool that are worded kind of cool you know, um, let me try and find an example of this in one of my actual songs. Um, let's see. I, I don't know. Okay, um, death jokes, perhaps. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there, there are a few. Um, you know, um, everyone has their kind of little existential crisis thing. This was totally my existential crisis song. Um, a lot of them are, to be honest. That's just what I write about a lot. Um, so, the the specific line, you can listen to this song. It's a very old version and my voice wasn't the best. Um, to my grave with my ghost, will you miss me the most when I ain't alive? Um, so, this was kind of based off of just like a random thought that I had. I was just hanging out. Um... Man, I don't want to tell the story behind this because it sounds super stupid. It sounds like I'm trying too hard. Anyway, the actual story was I was just hanging out in a graveyard, as you do. Um, I, I'm not joking. That I actually was. That's That was just something I did a lot in my freshman year of high school because I wanted to. Like, after I got home from my bus, I would just hang around there because no one was there. And, you know, I, it, it was just like, I was, uh, you know, thinking about someone like, will they miss me? the most out of everyone who might miss me and you know and then the thought of ghost i'm like oh ghost most that rhymes that's so cool i should totally make a song out of that and that was super cool to my 14 year old brain i'm not even that much older than 14 right now um i'm 15 which i feel makes it way worse because it's like there's not even a big difference um but yeah i'm, I'm not gonna criticize myself too much right now i had a stressful day it's supposed to be self-care day and not criticizing myself day <laughs> i wonder how long that's gonna last um yeah so that that's just an example if you can just take a random thought that you had through the day write it down i don't care where you are um maybe your teacher will maybe your teacher is gonna care if you're writing something down somewhere maybe your teacher is gonna care if you ha take your phone out and jot it down but you are going to be so frustrated if you forget it later. This has happened to me so many times. And I want to rip my hair out. All of it. And it's 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 not fun at all. So write it down. Um, how I've been writing my songs lately is literally just from those thoughts in my head. And I just write it down and then I rhyme it with another line that kind of makes sense. Also, RhymeZone is such a good website. I use RhymeZone so much um it's very handy don't be ashamed to use that don't be ashamed to use the thesaurus the, 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 the don't be ashamed to use a dictionary don't be ashamed to use any of that stuff um yeah don't just just use whatever you need to to make a good song if you want to make a good song so yeah with that being said those are some of my current tips if you guys want another video relating to my process when i write songs or if you want me to elaborate on something, you can ask me in the comments. I might answer in the comments, but I might make an entire video about it, depending on how much I have to say about it. And, um, 
yeah, so I hope this was helpful for anyone. Again, I don't want to seem like I'm judging any artists who write songs in a way that I don't like. I'm not gonna like everything, and, I'm, and of course, you know, you're not gonna like everything, you're not gonna like everything you write either. It's so easy to get frustrated. It's very easy. But, um, practice, practice, practice. Just keep going, but don't force it, because when you force it, you just get more and more frustrated with whatever you're doing, and your end product probably won't be that great. So when you're in the mood to write a song, do it. You might get in trouble. I, I don't want to be, seem like I'm encouraging delinquency or whatever, but you know, um, this is just what I do. Um, if you need to write a song, if you're feeling it right now, if you feel like you can write a song, then do it ASAP because that feeling is going to go away pretty damn quickly. Um, yeah, just, just do what you can while you can. And yeah, good luck songwriting. And um, yeah, bye.